leadership that is about irresponsibility and is about lies. And is about lies. Because there are real, two real truths. Climate change is real. The second truth is, if we want to uh, contribute as Australia to the fight against climate change, you need a limit and a price on carbon. Because we know in all aspects of our lives that if something is without limit and it is free, it'll keep happening. But what do we need to do now? Well, it's a time where leadership is called for, but we're not going to get leadership from this government. We're not going to get leadership. So the leadership has to be here. The leadership on climate change has to be in the community. Because I don't think we have enough of it, certainly in the government, and they have a majority in the parliament, certainly in the House of Representatives. We need leadership in the community. So when we leave from here, I do ask you, go with a renewed commitment to providing that leadership in your own community, in your own community, in your own networks. We need to talk to so many people. We need to talk to more than those who agree with us. We need to build partnerships. We need to build a strong campaign. We need to redouble our efforts. We need to redouble our efforts. And we need also to speak of hope. Because one of the things this government wants to do is to say to you, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, you can't make a difference. That's why they always want to talk about the rest of the world not acting, which is another lie. Well, imagine if humanity through our history had said we can't make a difference every time something got hard. Imagine the course of human history if we had said, oh, well, it's too hard, we're not going to do anything. We have to act together and we here today in the community have to show the leadership which is lacking at the highest level of the Australian Government. And I, I, I conclude on the same note as Sarah. There are many children here today, thank you for coming. I always think in this debate, what is it that you would say? if we're lucky enough to be around in 2020, 2030, 2040, 2050 to those who come after us. Because that's actually what this is about. It is about us being prepared to take responsibility for them. So thank you all for doing that. And let's go out there and raise our voices, raise our voices for climate action, for an effective response for climate change and for an Australia that is prepared to take responsibility. Thank you very much.